Hey guys, so as you know, I was requested to do some work and I had to go home, grab my welding stuff, and then show up. So I have a Viking 3350. I bought this because it was on one of the top 10 welding helmets. And I like it a lot. It has like this normal delay time, sensitivity, shade. You can switch the grind, which is right over here, get a low power, and then uh, I can't do this one hand. But, can you? If I test it, see, it darkens. So I know it's working before I blind myself. Now, I'm gonna show you uh, how cheaply it is. Actually, one more feature. Right up here, you can switch between the, uh, the what do you call it, the shades. Kind of, kind of double dial. Um, that all being said, it's not a bad helmet. I would much more, I would much rather prefer to be able to uh, change these things on the fly without having to re remove my uh, glove. But that all being said, it's a pretty daggone good helmet. So, the ability to remove your glass is very key. So you got these two little flips here, and then you have access to the outside glass, which protects your, uh, your lens. And then on the inside, we have a plastic piece here. Sorry, we have a plastic piece here. And this is, this is uh, the brains of the operation. So now we're gonna pop this out nice and carefully. This is probably where I break it. There we go. See, told you. Um, now, this only has one battery. And some of the new ones have two batteries. But, see, losing parts already. This little battery here is what uh, functions. Sorry, uh, makes the device function. It's only like uh, three volts. And then inside here, if I can get it to show, no. Well, you can a little bit. There's little tabs, which I had to bend to make this work. Originally, it was not working. So that is how easy this is to pull out and replace. And, but it's also slightly why it's kind of cheap. For like a $400, $500 helmet, it's pretty cheap, but they're all like that. So this is just a quick pass, there's nothing special, it's, it's a little hot, as you can tell from how high it is to how low it gets, but I'm not really here to demonstrate my abilities to weld, I'm here to demonstrate the helmet. So like I said, I looked at a review of about 10 of these top helmets, top tier helmets, and this was one of the more expensive ones. I chose this one even though it, was, it had negative reviews of it being too heavy to wear. I got a strong neck. Maybe it's from all the rubber neck maybe. I'm kidding. Um, but it was the most comfortable. So I chose the back piece here. It fits on my head nice. It's very firm. It works really well. All the gearing and everything works really well. I have no issues with this helmet after working with this helmet for like over two years now none whatsoever very happy with it as you can see i need to clean it
But thanks for watching, guys. And this is how or what I think about the Viking for 350.